So, what's your name? Uh, my name is Ryan. And you're with Technical Solutions? Yes. And what is your role with Technical Solutions? Uh, I am the lead artist. Okay. Yeah. What does that entail? Um, doing all of the art. So, uh, everything from designing the product concepts, uh, which have just gone up on the website, to uh, doing 3D modeling for games, uh, animation levels, um, website stuff. Pretty much, yeah. Okay. It's a small company, so there's a lot of stuff to do. Understood. And uh, this model here? Uh, these are actually the older SD glasses. Um, so these have been seen before. Uh, but we created a brand new application just a couple of days ago. Um, we came up with an idea to actually drill holes in the retroreflective material using our laser cutter. And uh, it allows a semi-transparent overlay that when you put the glasses on, gives you kind of a holographic visualizer and that we've strapped on our MakerBot. So when you're actually looking through the glasses, you see the interlocking pieces that go with this. I see. And uh, right now you can't see it, but when you hold these up, if you hold it still, it tracks it in 3D space. Oh yeah. So, put a quick little animation on the gears so it's more interesting for the kids. And of course you've got you know, the stereoscopic cameras, you've got your tracking, and uh, once you put them on, you can actually visualize what you're going to print before you print it, um, which for me as an artist, not an engineer, I know engineers do everything at scale and you know, your millimeters and stuff. For me, I kind of do things in arbitrary type scales. So actually I, I sculpted the, uh, our new wand controller uh, in ZBrush, and I kind of had to just hold my hand up to the screen and say, how big do I think I want this? Well, with this application that we just whipped up the other day, I'd be able to like kind of reach in and kind of wrap my hand around the uh, the holographic style image, and then scale it up or scale it down and see how it fits with different people, things like that. Um, and so that's just the first thing we've used this for with our MakerBot. Um,